Hi everybody, it's Crystal. Welcome to my channel, Bag of Day Crochet, where we talk about everything, everything that is yarn and crochet related. Oh my gosh, I do not have a hat on. Take a good look, because it doesn't happen. <laughs> Here, it does not happen very often. I will not edit this out. You are the lucky few if they get to see it. Me, in all of this horribleness without a hat. Ah. That's much better. That's much better. I'll leave that in, I guess. Whatever. You saw me without a hat. No, I got plenty of video. Not, or whenever I, I used to do my other channel, I never wore a hat on that hardly ever. And there's plenty of thumbnails. If you ever really want to see me without a hat, some people are just have to see me without a hat you can all you can look at my thumbnails of where i'm modeling like uh my own shirts and sweaters and whatnot i generally don't wear a hat in those sometimes i do but you got to see me without one just now <laughs> anyways enough of that i i have to throw this hat though um i don't know what it's called um but you can find it on my youtube channel underneath my playlist i have all my tutorials Hundreds of them at the making of the video, which is 417 of 2024. I have about 1300. I'm certain that well over 150 of them are hats. <laughs> You'll find this one um, on there. Like I said, I'm not sure. It might be called a break free beanie. I don't know. A breakthrough beanie. It's more than likely a Freddie Mercury song or lyric. <laughs> but you'll see it on there. All right. Maybe you'll find another one that you like better. Uh, so, yes, yarn and crochet, yarn and crochet, that's what we do here today. I have some yarn. Uh, so, I'm going to tell you just a quick story. Quick one, it's a quick one, it has to do with what I got here. So, I ordered some yarn from a small yarn company called Dot Yarn Den. You probably might have heard of her. I've mentioned her small business many times, and I do believe that she is in Oregon. I think, I think she has a brick and mortar. Um... I'm pretty sure people have told me that. Online though, she pretty much sells that one brand, that Dutch brand that no one can pronounce, unless you're Dutch. Schapekies. Everybody tells me how to pronounce it, but everybody says something different. I even look it up on the internet how to pronounce it, and everybody says something different. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, right? Schapekies. Anyways, um, on, on her uh, website online, that's pretty much what she specializes in, right? Well, she had some uh, of that brand of yarn that I wanted, and um, so I ordered some of it, right? And then she promptly messaged me back and said that they did not have that color. Uh, the colors, in, the colors, actually, it was just a few cakes. They didn't have the colors that I wanted, and that they took it upon themselves to contact the ship G's, um a warehouse I guess or where it's made or whatever to see when they were going to be getting it in again and the co yarn company said that it was a that they were all they were discontinued colors so uh, yes how unfortunate but that's okay I I shall survive without those colors um anyways she emailed me back and you know she said that they were discontinued and that she would give me my money back or whatever you know but being I like to support small businesses, and I already paid for the urine, you know. I'm like, hey, can we do like a trade? <laughs> How about you just send me some like yarn, like mystery style? That's equivalent to what I paid for the uh, sheepy's yarn, and that is discontinued. You know, mystery style. And she said, sure. I'm like, all right. So, yes, she did. So, do you guys want to see what's in the bag? I have a no idea. Um, it could be, I guess, since that's what's on her website, is the sheep cheese yarn. Could be that. I like that brand of yarn. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, but I, some people, I think I asked last time, they told me that she has a brick and mortar. I don't know what she sells her. I, have, I don't know anything. About, you know, I don't know. I don't know. We're about to find out. So, this is like a, a straight up trade for some yarn I ordered from Dot Yarn Den that 
was discontinued. She probably emailed me. It's good business. I like to order from, from that company. Very friendly. They ship fast. And um, their mystery bags are awesome. Now, this isn't really mystery bags. This is just like, I'm like, hey, you know, can you just like, you know, I love mysteries. I just said, can you just send me some yarn, you know, equal to what my uh, yarn was. And they said, sure. So, you know, I don't know what it is, but uh, we're about to find out. You guys ready? All right. Let's see if I can find some scissors. Oops. You know what? I never got no scissors up in here. Never. Never do I have scissors. Never, ever, ever. Mm. And these pills are back here. Oh, got it. Oh, it looks nice. I see that is not all. It's not all sticky yarn. All right. So remember, this was just like traded with a young cow. I don't know. I don't know. I just didn't feel the need to get my money back because, like I said, I like to support small businesses. I've already paid her and I'm like, hey, just send me some yarn. Whatever, you know. Surprise me. To e equal the amount of what I paid for the colors that they no longer carry. So this is, this is what they sent me. <laughs> Let's look. Alright, I can see we did get some of the shakies. This is the uh, uh color crafter anti-peeling hmm. it's very soft it smells clean all right it's uh yeah it's very soft so this is gonna be a hundred percent premium anti-peeling acrylic 100 grams 300 meters are classifying this as a dk weight which is a light number white weight number three please correct me if i'm wrong eight ply in australia I think that's right. Um, and yeah, washable, dryable. Let's check out there. Uh, 300 meters, so about 330 yards. Let's check out the DK on this. One, two. Here we go. There we go. It's an okay DK. I, get, I, I think so. Lighter, it's on the lighter side, but what else? DK nonetheless. Three weight nonetheless. Eight ply, I guess. I like this. It's soft. It's real soft. Nice. So that's what's in there. Ooh, some more. This is called Shashipti's Scrumptious. I got this um one time in a small mystery box I ordered from her. Um, it's made with uh, recycled plastic bottles. Now, before any, if you don't know, acrylic yarn is recycled plastic. So, it's, you know, most man-made yarns are some form of recycled. Acrylic is not made, I'm sorry. Unless it says recycled, it's acrylic or most man-made yarns are made with some form of plastic or another. It says this one's made with recycled plastic. Let me rephrase myself. Um, so, yes. I've never really liked the feel too much of any type of recycled fabric at all, whether it be um, acrylic or even wool. Um, and I love wool, but um, this one isn't bad, really. Um, it's still garment garment worthy. Well, let's read about it here. Fifty percent recycled polyester and fifty percent acrylic. DK weight lightning, lightweight number three, eight ply in Australia. I think so. I think so. This is 300 uh, meters as well. So 300, about 330 yards. Color is called matcha, huh? Matcha. Oh, I hate matcha. My oldest daughter, she loves it. She's drinking that matcha all the time. I'm about ready to vomit when I look at matcha. Here's a three weight. It's about the same as the last one. It's not the same yarn, because this is a uh, premium anti pill acrylic. But it's similar in appearance, and every, the ball is just, like the same size and everything. But this is just recycled. But yeah, lighter three weight. I guess you could work the run those two together if you wanted to. Nice, nice, nice. 
Nice. Ooh, 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 we got here. We got some mad tosh, man. Madeline tosh. I like Madeline tosh. Which one is this? So Madeline tosh is a very nice brand of hand dyed yarns. They have a um, different bunch of different varieties. My favorite is um, Madeline tosh vintage. Um, this one is Tosh DK. All right, so we got the DK weight. Three weight, eight ply in Australia, eight ply in Australia, and this is a very pretty, bright and cheery, isn't it? Two hundred and twenty-five yards or two hundred and five meters of a super wash merino. Um, the color is umbrella sky. Nice, I like it. Look at the parade dog on. She must have a brick and mortar. It must be in her brick and mortar. <laughs> I'm sorry to ask again, but I do have a bad memory. For those of you who told me last time, does she have a brick and mortar? $29. That's probably about right, though. Stuff it. Madeline Tosh isn't cheap. I mean, I've seen it more than that. It's pretty. I like it. Soft. Let's look at that three weight. One, two. Pretty, pretty stuff. Nice three weight. Now, as pretty as this is, I'm not being on the... I love hand, I love hand dye. I do. I like solid Mostly, um, when it comes to hand dyed, I prefer them to be solid. Um, not always, but uh, I like this a lot. And like I said, as pretty as this is, I'm not a huge fan of the splash type. Um, I can use it. Um, actually, there's two of them in here. Two of them the same. You know what I think? I think that one of them is hat making material for bag o' day. You know, I make a pretty hat. It would. Um, it's, like I said... It's not extremely busy, it being having that splash of color on it. Because I'm not into busy yarns, you know. I'm, that's not the bu I'm not a busy type of... Busy, I'm, a, I'm a busy person in general, but when it comes to busy yarns, I'm not a busy yarn type of person. I like the solids. They calm my busy mind. But that's pretty. I think maybe I will keep one for a hat and give the other one to someone else. I know who will enjoy it. That's nice. I like that. Ooh. -hoo -hoo. Ooh, 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 we got some more sh get shape sheep cheese. Ooh, that's pretty. Um, our tribe premium blend. Okay, this guy has some wool in it. I smell it and I feel it. I know it. <laughs> it's a hundred grams, two hundred or four hundred and twenty meters. Wow. Close to 500 yards there. Of, um, now yeah, 475. It says it's washable and dryable. I probably wouldn't recommend that just solely on the purpose that's a roving style. But you know what? That's it. The label says, man. The label says it. <laughs> 70% super wash merino and 30% polyamide. All right, so it's it's very pretty. It's you know it's that rowing style, one ply rowing style. You see that? I love the pink and orange. My daughter is so into pink and orange nowadays. Pink that is her favorite, but she kind of added orange to the mix lately. So that's it's really pretty. But that that hundred uh. Grant 420 meters for 100 grams. I'm guessing that's probably a two weight sport weight six ply in Australia. Maybe I don't know. What do you think on that? I'm guessing that's a two, but it's roving, so you know it'll go from thick to thin, you know, here and there. So I still think it's really pretty though. I like it. I have to smell it. Mm, smell of wool. I mean, there is, that's, that's a beautiful smell. This is beautiful. Smells just as good as a newborn baby or puppy breath or a beautiful rose. Well, okay. Not as good as a freshly bloomed rose. Ain't much that beats that smell for me. But yes, wool does that. For me, wool smells wonderful. Ooh, Malabrigo, Malabrigo. I love Malabrigo. 
Look at this. Look at this. Ooh, this is pretty. Um, what a nice trade-off. <laughs> so, um, I have a, when it comes to yarns, I usually rate them and like, I'll rate them like uh, big box, big box store style. And then I'll do like uh, mid style. And then I'll, I don't know. Anyways, I have a top five favorite brands of yarn. Top five. I do have a top five. Mala Brigo is number two on that top five list. Any, I like any, any, any style of Mala Brigo yarn. I like them all, you know, but I do have a few favorites. And Malabrego Rios was, is within those uh, top favorites. Um, I like the Rios. And I like the Verano. Um, I like the Mecca. Oh, gosh. Uh, I like the uh, Twist. Oh, gosh. I could go. I like them all. But, yeah, those, are, these, those would be some of my top favorites. But, uh... <laughs> They're all, they're all pretty nice, if you ask me. Okay, so the Malabrego, right there it is. You're not familiar with it. If you watch my channel a lot, you have to be familiar with it. I talk about it all the time. It's one of my faves. It's one of my faves. That's got a price tag of sixteen eighty on it. That's about right. I've seen Malabrego run about 15 to... Uh, Rio's, anyways. Rio's. 15 to 18 Depending on where you buy it from, you know. Different price, different places. Um... This is 100% Super Super Wash Merino, um, and it is classified as a four weight yarn, worsted, iron weight, Templar in Australia. Mm, I hope that's right. <laughs> 210 yards or 192 meters. Look the color on that. Now I love all color. I have to say this. I love. There's not a color that I do not like. There's not one that I don't like. Now there are many that I gravitate more towards than others. Brown is my favorite color. There is not one shade of brown that I do not like. Now purple is not a color that I gravitate towards. I like it. I like it. But like if it's sitting on the shelf of brown yarns, I'm not. Or you know any of my other colors that I like, like gold and in red i'm not gonna pick it i'm just not gonna pick it all right and my favorite color of purple is when it is so dark purple that it's almost black that's my favorite color of purple but this one here this one ain't too shabby this is probably my second favorite color of purple that one that looks like grapes or you know whiny color looking that's a beautiful color of purple right there um, and there it is. Santa Rita. Color 653. That's nice. Okay. Bag of Day cannot keep all this yarn. She does not. I will might keep this to make a hat. Hat maker material. Every time I see a hank of yarn with at least 200 yards in it, I know that that is hat maker material for me. I could use a good purple hat. Yeah, I could. That's pretty. I got this one too though. Same thing, different color. Color of this one is called Lila. It's the Rios as well. Now this is a beautiful purple as well. But, and they would go good together. But for me, mm, this one's just a little bit prettier. Although they are both gorgeous. And both are very nice yarns. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, it's some chunky monkey. I got some of this in uh, one of her mystery bags one time. Or she sells this on her site. Um, it's uh, anti-peeling acrylic yarn. It's super soft and shiny. At most anti-peeling is got some shine to it at least. Some more than others. Um, this is a chunky weight. Which is a bulky 5. Or a 12 ply in Australia. <laughs> I'll show you. I'm guessing on them. I'll show you anyways. Please, or let me know if I'm correct in the comments. 100 grams, 116 meters. You know, one of these would make me a hat because it's a chunky weight. And if I remember right, this is a nice, nice uh, bulky five. There we go. It's not a bad bulky five. Sometimes I, there we go. I just, sometimes I just seem to get thinner and thinner yarns. This one's not, this is not a bad bulky. 
I like it. But if I remember the last time, I, maybe I got pinks last time. I don't remember. But this is pretty. Yeah, premium acrylic. I like it. It's so super soft. Chunky monkey, you're so super soft and purple. Not as pretty as this purple, though. But it's your purple. You're purple. Um, you know, like I said. Another chunky monkey. Ooh, I like this one. This was like a rose color. So, last time I got something from Dacha, and then I had some of this in pink, different colors of pinks. I always love a good fade when it comes to yarns. Solids are my favorite. Ombres are my second. And if you can get a good gradient, or you know, gradients are nice. Um, and I love yarns that I can fade, that fade separate bowls that they'll fade together. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I'm, you know what I'm talking about. That's my dog Doug over there. Sorry, he's over there taking a bath and you have to watch that. I'll block him off with this ball of yarn. Okay. And, oh, another chunky monkey. This one's purple. I got the purple chunky monkey. That's like Victorian uh, rosy color, isn't it? Doug, quit. He's done. All right, so I got these three chunky monkeys. No, those don't match. No, this is way prettier. But this one's way prettier than this one. I like them. These two are my favorite, though. Pretty. Nice. Nice. What's this? What's this? Oh, it's a yarn I've never seen, felt, touch, or heard of in my entire life i love yarns like that i love it i love it when i get a yarn that i've never seen touched held felt looked at even heard of my entire life and this is one of them if i have i don't remember it <laughs> Ooh, that is that ever soft mm -hmm. it's nice that's what it is i can't pronounce that i can't do it Fourteen dollars for that. The color is a rose. Okay. Well, whatever name that is. Um, it's seventy-five percent uh superwash merino and twenty-five percent of baby alpaca. I love some baby alpaca. Fifty-six yards or fifty meters up in here, huh? Up in here. Hand wash. So. 56 yards of a uh, bulky 5 chunky or a 12 ply in Australia, right? Okay, that, that's a nice bulky 5. I like that. Not a lot of yardage up in here. It's still those super soft. It's pretty, pretty. But there's more than one of them in there. There's this one. Ah, oh, that's a, like a pinkish coral kind of color. Kind of looks like my curtains back there, doesn't it? It looks a little bit like my curtains. And here's another one. 14 bucks a piece, though. Cream. So you could put these three together, and then I would have enough to make a hat with them. Well, I'd probably, probably have enough with, to make a hat with two, since it's a bulky five. But, if you put the three together, they look pretty good. Pro I mean, I probably won't keep them, because I can't keep all this. I'll probably pick two out of here that I'm going to keep, and I know somebody special for the rest that's pretty though I like uh, I like the colors that are put together there I think they will go well together very nice soft it's soft yarn it's interesting okay. mm, I think I might have got this not long ago too Mohair Rhythm. The color is called Boogie. Boogie. This looks more like matcha than this does. I don't know. Hey, you could roll those colors together. Put them together. Have a little fuzzy matcha looking project. Fuzzy matcha. This is 70% mohair and 30% micro... I don't know what that is. Premium blend, huh? Well, what are you? What are you? 25 grams, 200 meters. So 220 yards. You got to be some thin stuff. 
Oh my my, you're like a lace weight. Yeah. It's pretty. Right. As like a piece of thread. It's pretty color though. It's very soft. Mm, not itchy at all. I like it. Pretty. It's pretty. It's pretty. Oh, I got another another mile of break of reels. I love this. I think I have a hat made out of this color on my channel. Fuchsia. I like this Malabrigo. I love Malabrigo. It's nice. It's pretty color, isn't it? I'm certain I have a hat made out of this color. Mm, I like that color too. Very nice. Very nice. Very, very nice. I'm almost done here. River Washed XL. I've had this many times. Um, it's a 70 cotton acrylic blend. 50 grams, 75 a meter or so, you know, not quite 100 yards. What are they calling this? A four weight yarn? I bet they are. I bet they are. I don't know. It's a, bl it's a blown yarn, I think. It is. It's a blown yarn into a gold mesh tube. Gold mesh too, huh? I like that. That's pretty. CXL version. Feels nice. I figured you could roll it with that. I don't match at all. Woohoohoo! What's this? Oh, what is $23 for that hanky yarn? What is this? This looks like something I've had before. Um, but I can't remember when and where I've had it or where it came from. It's from Knit Pro. It's, uh, I know where it came from. I got it. I got this before. I've had it from the wool warehouse in the UK. That's where I got it from. It wasn't, uh, I don't think it was this variety. This one is called Luna. But yes, I've had this brand before. Yeah, I recognize the symbol on it there. This is 75% um, merino and 75 silk. Nice. 100 grams, 182 meters, 200 yards, DK weight. 100 grams, 200 yards, and they're calling it a DK weight. That don't even look like a DK. That's confusing. If I had my weight scale here, I'd weigh it. And I would... Nah. Let's check it out. Okay, DK, huh? There's our DK. That's a light DK. That's a light three weight. I mean, that's like a three weight. That's a light three weight. Right? But whatever. To each their own. It's very pretty. Soft. I like it. I think I remember getting this from Wool Warehouse, but I got the one I got was 100% merino with no silk in it. Ain't nothing wrong with having silk in it, though. Soften it up a bit. Oh, merino is already pretty soft on its own, but, uh, It's pretty. It's pretty. It is. I like it. See, I just, I'm not agreeing with that DK weight classification. That's like more like a thicker squirt. Maybe, I guess, thin three, whatever. It's a pretty green, I guess. I don't know what kind of green you'd call it. Just dark green, right? Forest green. It's not a Kelly green. It's just like forest green. Hat making material. Although it's gorgeous, it's not hat making material for me. Because... It's, uh, it's not the type of fiber I'd want. Well, it's hand dyed. Mm hmm. Um, yeah, maybe. It's just too thin for me to make a hat for me. I have, this is all pretty. There's one more hanging here. Just like. One more. Oh, it's my all time favorite Pima cotton in the whole world. Malabrigo Verano. 
Anybody else what my favorite Pima cotton is? I have a favorite Pima and a favorite Mako. My favorite Pima cotton in the whole world is a Malabrego Verano. It is gorgeous and soft. Um, it's very nice. So the Verano, I do believe they classify as a three weight yarn, 205 yards, 185 meters. Um, there it is. So this is very pretty. Um, again, though, it's that splatty stuff. I have had this color before, but I, I've always, I've given it away. I, I don't use the splat, splatty stuff too often, although, <laughs> I do love it's so soft for it being it's so soft because it's I don't know I never found a Pima that could outdo Malabrego Verano 1560 spot average I guess that's that's pretty I like it here's their uh, three weight on this if you got, ever got this, like you wanted to make something nice for somebody out of a cotton yarn, I would highly recommend, um, depending on what type of cotton, I guess. If you're wanting to make a baby blanket, I would recommend a, a Mago cotton, not a Pima. But if you want to, I don't know, make a baby article of clothing, I guess, Pima cotton would be nice. I don't know. Depends on what you want to use it for. Uh, there's her three weight. That's a nice three weight. I like it. I do. But I won't. I want to keep it. I want to keep it. That was an excellent trade. What a trade off. Now, all out of all this shine, which one's back on his favorite? Hmm. It would be a very, very, very hard choice because there are some beautiful yarns here. Of course, Malabrego Verano as far as variety wise would be my favorite of the bunch color not so much so with all that taken into consideration um mad tosh is an excellent brand but i'm gonna go with this one right here today takes number one for me and it will be the one that i will keep and make a new hat you will see rego day be sporting this hat soon I do like this, but I already have a hat made out of it, so I don't need it again, right? I don't need another one on one hot pink hat's enough. Probably have more than one made out of that, but I know I don't have one made out of this. Yep, yep, yep. I think I'm gonna keep this in one mad tosh, and these will be hats for me for a bag of day. No, that's not all I make is hats. That's not all I make, but you know what? It's what I like to make, um, and my daughter dresses. They're my favorite things to make. But I make, if you go check out my channel, please do. I do have lots of tutorials. And they're all free for you to enjoy. So don't forget to check them out. I got some Malabrego Verano right here. That I kicked up. This is this. The Verano. This one's called Cyberspace. You wonder what I'm going to do with it? Do you wonder? I can't tell you what I'm going to do with it. Hey, but you know a bag of day don't kick till she makes. So you know there's something coming out of that. I don't know if I'll do a tutorial, but if I do, you'll see it. Never kick until you make. Stretches out the fibers. Well, definitely wool anyways. All right. Anyways, that's what I got for my straight up trade. Remember, it was I ordered some yarn off Dot Yarn. And please check out her shop. Please do. Um, and instead of her refunding me the money, I'm like, hey, just throw some yarn that you have in a bag and, and you know, equivalent, about, approximately equivalent to what I ordered and we'll just call it a day. And that's what she did. And I think this is just fine. And I'm extremely satisfied with, uh, the, the trade-off. Yes, it was, it was nice. I would have liked to, to <laughs> have got what I ordered. But you can't get it if if they don't make it anymore. They don't make the color. You can't get it. That's all there is to it. I understand. I will accept this in trade. No, she did offer to give me my money back. That was that's what she said. She'd give my refund. And I'm like, well, we'll just do a trade. 
So that's what we did. Super happy. Thank you so much. And I'll put a link to her uh, store below, okay? Check her out. Um, check out the shop. I never had a bad experience buying from them. Um, they always ship in a timely manner. Customer service is always nice. Um, yeah, I can't say anything, anything bad. So <laughs> I'll, I'll see you guys on my next video, okay? Thanks for enjoying this uh, yarn trade mystery thing for, with me. What fun, what fun. I gotta think of a hat design for that purple yarn in that Mad Tosh. Maybe. I don't know if I'll keep that or not. But I know I'm definitely keeping that purple. I'll see you guys later. Take care.